Hi there, this is Jen up on the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel today. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I have a super fun card using some Honey Bee Stamps products. And um, I was inspired to create this card from a crafty friend of mine that recently did this really cool kind of diorama project. And so um, I wanted to do more of a dimensional card because this is such a big stamp set and so I thought the perfect way to do that would to be make a kind of a 3D card. So the products that I'm going to be using are these Honeybee Stamps products that stencil is called Crystal Kaleidoscope and then the stamp set is called Snow Family like ours so I'll be using that stamp set along with the matching dies and there is a die for everything in this set so every stamp you see has a matching die even the tiniest little snowflakes and snowballs so um, that's really cool so for the walls of my card i'm going to be using four sheets of paper and this is accent opaque white paper and 110 pound and i wanted to make sure i used a fairly heavy cardstock so i'm going to have two panels that are four and a quarter by five and a half and then two panels that are four and eighth by five and a half and if I were to do this again, because this is the first time I've made a card like this, if I were to do this again, I would cut those two four and one eighth panels just a little bit smaller on each side so that they fit a little bit better. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start out and create my window or my hole in the card. And so I'm taking the four and a quarter by five and a half and both of the four and one eighth by five and a half sheets. And I'm gonna run those all through my die cut machine um, with the intention not of cutting them initially, but just of giving me a template so that I make sure that every single circle is exactly aligned correctly. And then once I have that template or that kind of dry embossed shape i just lay the die right back on top of it and run each single through my die cut machine so that i have every circle perfectly aligned on the paper exactly how i need them to be so when i assemble the card it's not um, mismatched and then i'm going to create an accordion fold basically and this is going to go on each side of the card and this is what's going to give the dimension and so what i'm doing is i'm taking um, some paper this is i believe about an 85 pound weight and i am scoring at every third line and so i've just taken a sheet of paper and i'm going all the way across and i will create um, two sides with this and so i'm going to fold it back and forth like an accordion or if you ever made those um, <laughs> self-made fans in school uh, that's kind of what this is and so I go ahead and fold it back and forth until I have enough creases and so I have three here which is too many because I only have two center panels um, but I went ahead and left it and I'm gonna go ahead and cut right after those folds leaving one piece that i can glue down or adhere down and so i do that for each side and i'm going to set those aside for now and get started on my panels and i'm going to take the stencil first and this is going to be the very back panel so i'm using some catherine pooler in fiesta blue and putting that really pretty kaleidoscope pattern um, which is going to be the background and then I'm going to start my coloring for my um, all my little elements. And so I just colored everything. I wasn't sure if I was going to actually use all these, but I'm using some alcohol marker-friendly ink. And I'm going to be using my Copic Chow markers. And up in the left-hand corner will be the marker that I am using for the portion that I'm coloring. And I'm not going to show all of the coloring in this. I am no expert by any means on alcohol marker coloring. And basically what I do is I just try and make it look pretty, color inside the lines for the most part, and um, just try and get a little bit of light and a little bit of dark. And although I'm not showing all, the, all of the coloring, I will in the description have all of the markers that I used and what portion I used them for. So for the snowman, I'm using a gray and a blue, and the markers that I'm using for them are B000 and C0. And then I'm gonna use some pinks and some greens, and I just pretty much repeat most of the colors um, over and over again. Uh, so there's just a few colors that I'm using 
for the um, entire group of images. And then once I have all of my images colored, I'm going to take the fantastic matching dies and run those through my die cut machine and get all of those images cut out. I do cut out an extra tree that I add at the end. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a dry fit to see where I want my images placed and to make sure that no image is covering too much of another image so you can see all of them clearly. So I'm going to start with the back panel and I created a snowbank with the snowbank die and I'm going to use that. You can't see it in the completed project because there's too many things covering it, um, but I'm using it kind of as a base for these back images. So I'm going to gonna i'm going to adhere the christmas tree and the snowman and that will be my first layer and then that's going to be adhered to the back of that first panel and again this is the panel that's four and one eighth by five and one half and so this is the one that is slightly smaller and so i'm going to just take some adhesive and adhere that and then i will adhere the other little snow person on the next panel that is also uh, four and one eighth by five and a half. And then I'm going to take the accordion folded paper that I had and add some double sided adhesive to the bottom. And then I will adhere that to the both the right and the left sides. So one will go on the left, one will go on the right. I think the most important thing to remember about adhering these pieces is to make sure that the accordion folds or where the score lines are folded um, match up on each side so that you are not going to have like a wonky kind of lopsided card. And I'm taking that first panel and slipping that in there to make sure it sits nicely. And as I mentioned previously, the folds I did an extra fold and I didn't need to but what I'm gonna do is make the this piece that I am putting the adhesive on right now I'm going to bump that up one layer basically so um, it's going to be a little further from the back than the other pieces are from each other and so um, I've gone ahead and I've added that double-sided adhesive and I'm just slipping it into the crease of the fold or the accordion fold um, and adhering that. And then I'll go ahead and press that together to make sure it as adheres nicely. And then I will go ahead and I'm gonna repeat the process for this next layer. Um, I'm gonna add the adhesive and then insert it into those creases. And then the top piece is going to be the four and a quarter by five and a half piece. And it's just going to sit on top of the last accordion fold. It's not actually going in a crease, uh, but that last fold is a flat fold. And so it's just going to sit nicely on top of that. And as you can see, the middle pieces are bowed a little bit. And so I think I would probably cut those just a little bit smaller um, if I were going to make another card like that. And to finish the card, I'm just going to add a few other elements. And one of those is these kind of floating snowflakes. And to add those, I cut a really thin strip of acetate and added some adhesive to that and then added the snowflake. So I've already gone ahead and adhered one of the snowflakes already. And then I'll go ahead and add this one as well. And then I'll add more adhesive and adhere that into one of those layers of the card and then at the top I'll just cut off um, any excess and then I'm going to finish uh, adding all of the rest of my elements I wanted to make sure I had the whole snow family on there and so I got the two bigger snowmen and then all the tiny little snowmen so it's just like a whole uh, snow family just like the title of the stamp set is snow family like ours and this is a really great set because it's there are no Christmas sentiments in this they're all pretty much winter sentiments you could even add like thank you from our family or something like that um, with all these little snow people I think it's just perfect and then the sentiment I'm using is with love from your favorite flakes and I love these dies, how they cut out the words so perfectly. 
And to finish off the card, I am adding some stickles. So I added a little bit to the snowflakes and then a few dots around. And this is a finished card. This is probably not a card that's going to go through the mail without any issues. It does fold flat, but it is a little bit thicker, so it might need a little bit of extra postage. Uh, but I think it's super cool because you can give it and then the card stands up really nicely on its own just as a little decoration. Um, I had a ton of fun with this. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel as well as follow us on social media. Um, and that is it. Um, thank you so much for stopping by today. Hope to see you next time.